Here we are again, folks, with another one. We got Romero box today. Uh, before we get into the review, you'll notice behind me on my left over here, my spam poster is not lit up today. I had the light turned on back there, and it was shining a weird little beam of light right across my face, and it just kept going in my eyes. I was filming this, and I could see it on my viewfinder, so it's just this weird thing, so I couldn't figure out why it was picking up the light like that. I, I'm filming in the exact same position I film every time, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I turned that off, and hopefully it's not too dark now that I've got that one light off. Um, believe it or not, I'm doing these with my iPhone, um, and that, that's it. Just my iPhone, it's sitting sideways on top of my Mac, and it's just about the perfect level, and I'm just using the lighting in my office. That's it, so it's pretty... I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the video considering I'm just using my phone. Anywho, Romero box. This is all you get. That's it. It's all contained right here inside of here. You get what I gave a three star status or three stars with a stone status of gem with little g, little e, little m. Uh, inside of here, we'll talk about why in a minute, by the way, are the instructions, which are hard to get out, frankly. Come on, get out. There we go. That is it. This is the instructions. It's all you get. Page one, page two, nothing else. Uh, they basically sort of, uh, we'll call it teach, for the lack of a better word, uh, two effects. And then the rest are sort of bullet points, ideas of other things you can do. So I will say this. The gimmick is good. It works well. It's very clever. Uh, I'm going to show you one thing it can do. I, I wouldn't necessarily do what I'm about to show you in an actual performance. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do. I'm just saying for me, I wouldn't do it. Um, but here is the, you know, you can look inside the box. You show that. And I'm just going to use this little thing as a table here. Actually, let me put that down. Okay, load the, you show uh, whatever card, Ace of Hearts here. Put it in the box right there. And then you would need a table, so I don't have a table here. I'm just going to use this, um, but then just uh, if I just drop, look at that, bam! There is, get out of there! Whew, almost lost it. Before I show you that card again, look inside the box. Clearly empty, nothing going on in there. Uh, and now you can see that the Ace of Hearts has turned blue. Very, very clever gimmick. Uh, it's basically the old card box gimmick, the card switch gimmick. You know, the, it was the thing that opened like a book, and you know, and then you put something in there and you close it, and it would change, right? That's right in the ad copy, so I'm not tipping any method there by telling you that. Uh, but it's very, it's smart putting it in a card box. I think, I think you would agree with that, because what's with the weird plastic box that you have that looks like you bought it at Burger King Happy Meal, even though. Burger King doesn't do Happy Meals. That's where I actually got my first one was a Burger King kit when I was a kid. It had one of those in it. No, I'm not kidding. Uh, so anyway, it's in a car box. So, you know, what's a great place for it? <clears throat> uh, there are a few issues here. Not so much with the product itself or the gimmick ex itself. Um, there is one, though. Let me show you. Normal card box. You've got a half moon here, right? Uh, which this one doesn't have. Which that, Okay, that's not a big deal. But what you do have is the box is cut long here if you can see that and then that folds over okay that little fold over is important because it protects the method a little bit to me that's fine i don't have a problem with that i don't think that looks suspicious i think it's fine um there's no issue there except for when you go to close the box that's when it gets a little weird because that thing gets totally in the way and it just and it and it opens it back up and then when you reopen it you have to kind of you know seal that back down again uh you know the instructions could have for 60 bucks you know you they could have spent five more lines of text to explain how to handle that uh there there's a lot of things they they mention in the in the paper here the so-called instructions that if you had two gimmicks you know, you bought a second Romero box for another $60, and you took part of the gimmick out, put it into this car back so that you had two operating gimmicks in one box that you could do double changes. The way that gimmick works, I, it's not quite clear to me how you would do that. I, I think I have an idea of how I would do that, um, but I, I'm not sure. I could have been sure had they spent another three or four lines to explain it to me. That's the problem I have. 
So for $60, you should get a little bit more depth. I mean, a DVD would have been nice, or at least a video download or something. Uh, they did say that if you go to Facebook uh, and see their page there, that there are more tricks and ideas there. There are, I think. I went there, but they're all in Spanish. So no hablo, uh, only a little bit. Uh, so I guess uh, I can't read all that stuff, so I can't learn anything there. Now, I I got the product, and I re looked at it, read the instructions, and I uh, looked over it and formed my own opinions about it before I even watched the trailer. Um, when I watched the trailer, I learned more about how to use this than I did by reading the instructions. That's kind of a bummer. Um, just by looking at the way he handled the box, I actually gained a few pointers from it. So I'd recommend you watch the trailer if you're going to buy this. On the downside, though, the trailer is a little bit misleading. There are two effects in there that cannot be done simply by owning this box. You need more. One of them is using the double gimmick that I just mentioned a second ago, that where you do a double change. So in that one, you'd have to buy two boxes. Um, the other one, though, is, is the one where he drops... Uh, I'd have to look at the trailer again, but I think he dropped the cards onto the... Oh, he had a face-up card on the deck. That's what it was. He touched it on here, and then suddenly the face-up card was gone, and it was inside the box. It was like a penetration effect. Well, that uses the gimmick and something else that makes that face card vanish. I know what that something is, and most people don't have one of those somethings. You'd have to make one or get one, but nowhere in the instructions does it talk about that, but yet it's advertised in the ad copy, in the trailer, I should say. So if you watch that trailer thinking, oh, that's a cool effect, that penetration effect, I want to get it for that, well, SOL, guys, you can't do that because you don't have everything you need to do that. Um, and there's nowhere that tells you what that gimmick is or how to make that vanish happen, uh, at least not in the instructions here that I saw. And so, you know, you buy it thinking, hey, I'm going to do that effect, and you can't. So that, I did, that's why I had a few issues with it. But just for the gimmick itself or what it can do for the potential it has, you can do torn and restore cards. You can, you could, there's an effect you could do if you make a coin looks like it penetrates the bottom. Um, you have to have a special coin for that. Um, but uh, it's one that you, you might have. You may have one of those. Uh, but you can do, uh, you can magically print your business card. I mean, you saw all the stuff in the trailer. So anyway, bottom line is it's actually a very good gimmick that has some great potential. Uh, the way I would use this probably is either A, if I were using gimmicked cards, I would use this as a way to switch them out for legitimate cards. Just put them in there for a second and then uh, at the end of the effect I would open them back up and I, they could examine them or whatever they wanted. Uh, the other thing I might use it for is uh, for the final phase of the color changing deck. Uh, most color changing decks, there's one, you know, blue card in the whole red deck or whatever. Uh, and at the very end, you've changed all the cards red, but you still have that one blue card that you got to do something with. This might be a good alternative for that. So there's there's a lot of different things you could do with it. Um, I've already taught you more about what to do with this than the instructions did. That's how poorly they, written they are. Um, so if you don't mind that and you feel that you have some potential for the just the gimmick itself it's probably worth the 60 bucks. I mean, if you do, if you're, you know, if you're a working pro, it's definitely worth it. If you would use, you know, use it, obviously. If you wouldn't use it, don't get it. Um, but if you would use it, I, I think it's worth the investment. Um, so, uh, as Forrest Gump would say, that's all I have to say about that. Moving on to the random iTunes song of the moment, please be something from the Forrest Gump soundtrack. How cool would that be? Oh, no, but it's Metallica, so that's good. Anesthesia, their bass solo from the Kill 'Em All album, their first album. Gotta love this back when Cliff Burton was around. Yes, Metallica is one of those bands that just, you know what? They freaking rock. Deal with it. I love them. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. As always, go down to the description below, leave a comment, go to the social media places, leave comments there. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Peace out.